everybody, it's Jay the Asian Mogul here. Oh man, it's a Sunday. Why am I at work? It's a better question, but I'm here. Um, call me in. I didn't show up, so here I am. But I wanted to give you guys an update on what's been going on with me. And I do have a title for this video, by the way, so it's not gonna be just me rambling on about my weekend or like that. First of all, I hope y'all having a great weekend and enjoying yourselves. I know it's first of June just passed, so it's gonna be a lot of events happening this month. And summer. Fucking summer. So um what happened with me this weekend actually I actually had a and went to an event yesterday with a friend of mine. It was the women's expo. Oh, and I, since I've been doing a magazine, okay, uh, this event itself has been progressing over the years. So, for the last, when I first started the magazine about five, six years ago, they had their, they started doing it, you know, and I was actually trying to go to the events and stuff like that. For whatever reason, it just wouldn't work out. It didn't happen. They couldn't find it. Times conflict, conflict, schedule conflict, whatever it was that was happening, just could not make it. Which kind of aggravated me, but I was like, you know, whatever. As obviously some kind of bigger plan for later on, especially for that specific thing. So, I didn't pay any, any mind to it. After all that time, you know, I put a pause on the magazine for the time being until I could get it rebranded how I really want to. So, yesterday I finally went. Yeah, and it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, Usually when I go to certain things, especially when it has a lot of booths in it. Because I don't come prepared to actually just buy stuff right off the bat because I already know. Sometimes even coming through the door, you get broke just from trying to bring you a little money, trying to spend some and support. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't expect to do any of that, but I did. I did. And there's a lot of things, of course, I never expected myself to do, but lately I have been doing them. And it has actually helped me open up my mind to a lot of different things and also helped me expand on that as far as like my mindset. So one of the things that I really loved about it was, of course, it's a business. It's a business expo for women. You might think it's a women's expo and then all they're going to do is just hair and makeup and all this stuff. Nah. <laughs> Every person there is business oriented. Like, they making money. They know how to make money. And this is why I always say to everybody, I tell everybody this, that women, we're about to take over the world. Like, literally about to take over every aspect in this world. The way that the, not going to say the men, how they, how they have been doing it, just fucked up. Which it is in a way. But... Women are definitely going to make a difference. So when we have a female president, a first female president that we actually like, that we actually can vote for, that's going to make a difference. Okay? Because just looking at, just look, just look around. Look around. Ask your, your sisters, your aunts, your mom, everybody. Ask whoever you can, all females, how many business women do they know? If they're business women, if they aren't one themselves. Just, just pay attention. Just listen. Just to see what's happening. And that's the thing I can usually tell on what's going to happen in the world in the future because of what's happening now. So because of the increase of female entrepreneurs, one that's going to happen next is that it's going to take over the next big thing. You know, and that's going to be the White House. That could be the Capitol. And everything else that's pretty much over everything is women and basically coming into that term. Now keep in mind, we started to where we couldn't even vote. You see what I'm saying? So... If you can start from there to so now, they have female millionaires who are showing other females how to make how to do the same thing, and basically growing. And now we have this expo that came in yesterday and this weekend. And I wanted to go. I wanted to go tomorrow or today. Excuse me. I wanted to go today because I really wanted to see Kiki Palmer. But it's fine. I actually got another friend who's actually going, so I'm hoping that she takes the pictures for me so that I can at least have that. You know. So, um, but in the meantime, I'll just. Shit, I'm not scared. I can reach out to Kiki Mamba and, and whatever and be like, what's up? You know, be like, hey, how you doing? I, I have this magazine or whatever the hell like, I want to speak to her about. And no, I ain't finna be on her DMs like that because I'm trying to get business done. But um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every little bit of it. I was able to get this bag. This company right here, I really... Really, it was really impressed with because of the fact that they help again, like I just said, they help other women build their businesses. So, I uh, got a lot of flyers for waxing and stuff. Uh, shoot, I grabbed me some tea because I'm trying, you know, I, I'm on my health thing, so I have to grab me done no, now. But this was this was this was some good shit. Um, what else? I grabbed uh, oh, there's another flyer for the actual building your business thing. And it's a lot of different stuff that I'd like to do. Find out about some credit credit repair information. 
and a whole bunch of other shit, a whole bunch of other stuff. So with that, I really, really, really enjoyed it and is actually taking all of it in and seeing all the different women, different types of beautiful women that were out there and just basically on their grind, on their hustle, networking. Okay, networking and talking to other people. I've seen, um, well, I didn't see it. My friend saw a Forex booth, which was fucking awesome, by the way, um, because that's something that you guys know I'm also interested in and I'm trying to learn more about and build on as well. Um, I saw a CBD oil booth. So, men aren't the only ones that's creative in this way. And this event is free. And all you got to do is basically get you a booth. If you want to, if you're a vendor, and go ahead and just make your money. Go ahead and network with other people. Have your flyers and business cards, whatever the hell you need to have up there to present your business to other people, especially to events. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that because your time is now. You know you don't want to wait till later and say, "Oh, I wish I could have." Like I wish, and that's what I told my friends today. I said, "I wish that I would have kept on doing the magazine because we would have been in here." Keep in mind, I can still contact the lady now, and and, and pretty sure it would be all. It, we would still be on good terms on as far as whatever you know because I can still do media and stuff like that. But um, that, and also, um, second part to this video is I want you guys to be able to try something new. Try something that you never tried before. Something that you might have thought about. Something that you might have turned down in the past. But it wasn't anything that was going to be harmful to you. But try it. The reason why I said that is because yesterday, I was kind of convinced. But I was able to, I got my first reading yesterday. Keep in mind, growing up as a 7 a.m. Venice, Haitian at that, I, they don't mess with that type of shit. You know, as you guys already know, Haitians, you know, have a history of voodoo and stuff like that. So, with that, I was always skeptical because of my parents, well, they were telling me stories and stuff that was going on when they were in Haiti. And then, of course, when I got older, just hearing and seeing different shit as far as um, palm readers or uh, fortune tellers, however you want to call it. And of course, for me, it, it I identifies more with Carmen the musical. Don't laugh with Beyonce. Yes, name it. I'm a huge Beyonce fan, but that movie and when she got her fortune, everything went bad. Okay, <laughs> so that shit sticks with me. You know, I don't, I don't want to hear the bad shit, but at the same time, I know that it's something that, you know, that's however I take it, perceive it, or whatever. So if it's just bad. It's gonna happen. So it could be I could find out about it beforehand, or I could find about it when it actually happens. You know. So it was like, it, it doesn't matter. So I looked at it that way. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and try this. So I did my little twenty minute for twenty dollars. That that shit. If you haven't tried it, if you've never had a reading before, keep in mind with me. I've been I've been tapping. I've been really tapping into my source. You know, tapping into my energy and being able to actually recognize it and when I am in my vortex and be able to recognize when I'm in alignment and if it's easier for me to understand as far as things that she was telling me because she was telling me about stuff that was happening in my past and have stuff that was happening currently and what I could see in the future now of course they're not going to be telling you details as far as like yes you're going to meet John John's going to buy you flowers and then John's going to leave you on Thursday it's not going to be nothing like that but it's going to give you definitely a good general idea of what it is that you have been going through, what you're dealing with now, and what you can expect in the future depending on what your space is and what your head, head space mindset is at the current moment. So she touched me. She, I mean, it, it really affected me. Like, not to the point where I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't want to do it ever again, but more so like, I want to know more. I want to learn more. And I told you guys, I, I stayed away from this type of stuff. Like, this is something I never believed in. Even I've had other friends that's taking me to the tarot card readers. I didn't care about none of that. I stayed in the car. Okay? And that's not something that I fuck with. But now I do. And I understand it. I understand it. Like, this is a crazy thing. Because a year from now, or a year ago, I would have been like, what the fuck is this? I don't understand none of this. It's not, it's not making any sense to me. It, it's, if I don't understand it, I don't even want to deal with it. But... My mind's not there anymore. You know, my mind is like. So with that, I was able to really grasp everything that she said. Grasp everything that she said. One thing that she said, it really stood out to me that she told me was that I need to definitely relax more. You know, and I never noticed that I'd be on a hundred. I never really. To me, I, I just think it's not enough. You know, I feel like I'm not doing enough. You know, and I know a lot of us entrepreneurs, we feel like we're just not doing enough at all. So. My friend was like, you know, well, yeah, you definitely need to, like, start to relax and because you do a lot, you know. And I'm just like, man, I don't look at it that way. But I know that there are times where I do feel slightly overwhelmed in my head, you know. But even though on those times, I still find a way to 
block out whatever I don't want to think about and just keep it, keep it moving, you know, so that way I can still be forward moving and positive in whatever it is that I'm doing. So that was a big thing for me to hear that from her as well and to know that pretty much everything that she said was really, really relatable to relatable to what I actually had going on. Like she nailed it on the head. Like I can't even be upset or nothing like that, you know, and I am thinking about doing it again and continuing on because I figured with that way it could I mean, she could be a spiritual advisor in a way, you know, and that could help me understand a lot more about me, which is all I, I really have to do. And what you all need to do as well is to learn more about yourself, you know, because once you do that, you can help others in other ways that you couldn't really do before. But because you're more confident in yourself, knowing who you are, other people will flock to you, you know. And um, that's something I've always wanted to do is be able to affect and impact other lives as much as I can. 